he is an instrument of change. If he sees that something is wronged, he will make it right. He's a bridge builder in our community. He's a quintessential bridge builder. I'll tell you, I had uh, one of the best childhoods ever. I was born and raised in Northeast Denver and went to uh, Loyola Grade School, Annunciation High School, raised by my grandparents who were just absolutely um, angels to me. Ronald E. Montoya attended the University of Colorado at Denver, then after serving in the military, attended DU Law School. My career in business started while I was in uh, at the University of Colorado at Denver, actually. We had a company called Plastic Supply. My partner and I had 35 employees. We had opened up another branch in Albuquerque, New Mexico. In 1986, Ron sold his interest in the Denver branch of the company and was asked by Governor Romer to head the new Office of Minority Business, a program to enhance minority and women business opportunities. He got some legislation passed and introduced, which is still funding those programs today at the state level. That turned out to be exceptionally good. I had a great run at three and a half years. And immediately after that, I decided that uh, I, I really, really love business. So I started Plasticom Industries, which was uh, plastic oriented, but it was uh, focused more on the telecommunications. He has been a very successful businessman. He right now is owner of Innovate Solutions. Which uh, today my sons and I still operate. And chairman of the board for Solera Bank, the bank that he helped put together. Today we're five years old, we're quite successful, things look very, very positive. I have the extraordinary um, respect for him and regard for not only his business accomplishments, but the fact that he's been involved in the community. Uh, because I always felt that joining organizations like the Denver Metro Chamber of Commerce and the Denver Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, but also too in the nonprofit world, I've had a wonderful time uh, through the years. What people may have forgotten is that he was the national chairman of the National Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, which is a big deal. He has been a godsend to the ethnic community. He has led our work with children and families, in particular in early childhood work. As a trustee of the Rose Community Foundation, Ron helped form the Latino Community Foundation. We had a vision about elevating um, Latinos in the community. Within five minutes, he knew exactly what it could be and without hesitation said, yes, I'm in. Thanks to his leadership, uh, we'll reach a million dollars in grants out to uh, Latino nonprofits in Colorado. And that is him spearheading uh, fundraising efforts, really launching this organization from a great idea. The Hispanic Chamber of Commerce of Denver named its Lifetime Achievement Award in Ron's honor. I feel like Ron is a public servant who has never pursued a vote on a ballot, but he is conscious of the community. When you love people and you know that, uh, you know, people are just, uh, everyone is unique, everyone is creative, everyone has a, a purpose in life. I can't think of a person who's done as much as he has done and touched so many people throughout the city and throughout the state and in fact our country. Mm -hmm.